And now, the third use of this uh, platform is pedal drive. So uh, you can sup it, you can kayak it, you can also do pedal drive. And to drop the pedal drive in, all you have to do is open these up on either side. Key thing is just make sure you open them all the way to the opposite side. You're going to lift out the clear plate. Set this side. And then our Apex PD pedal drive and rudder kit. Sold separately, but this is an additional feature that you buy along with the kayak paddle. First and foremost, you're going to just set this down. So right here, you notice, you get the pin in, match up the holes, push it through, locked in. To actually drop the pedal drive in, a little thing to keep in mind, make sure the propeller itself is matched up with the skag on here. So you're going to drop in here. This little pin goes in the front, locks in. And all you do is clamp it down on either side. All three spots, you're ready to go. You, of course, have a clear little port right here so you can see down. That way you can also check to see if for some reason you get debris or something on the pedal drive itself. Uh, if you're out in the water, just of course open it up, pull it up, clean it. If you get some weeds or something on it, drop it back in, you're ready to go. So, and there's your pedal drive, you're ready to get out in the water. Now, a great thing too is with the front bungees here, depending on how you're using it and or during transportation, you can just pull this up and again, and make sure those are all the way open. Pull that open, drop this here, and you can lock it in here with the front bungees. So you have a way of storing it while you're transporting it down to the water, and or if you're out in the water, you want to stand up for a little bit. Different ways you could use it. Now, in order to use the pedal drive, how are you going to steer it? That's why we sell, included in the kit, is the rudder kit that you're going to need. So installing this, you have your, your mount back here. Now this originally, oftentimes we talk about this being for PowerPro Micros, which it still is. Uh, but to, uh, it is uh, still compatible with it, but you can also use it with the rudder kit. Just match it up, put this going forward. I always put the little back handle inside of it. Match up, I'm gonna drop the screws in. Do not use a drill, make sure you use a screwdriver for this. Just because you you don't need it and you'll definitely over tighten. Drop these in. All right, simple, easy. A couple things to keep in mind: you do have for the actual rudder, this keeper, this is really for transportation. Once you get down the water, just release it, drops down for use. So you get up or deploy it down. Now, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, uh, this is gonna be your steering component. So you can install it on either the right or the left. So really just think about if you're fishing, what hand do you wanna use for your rod more frequently, et cetera. Uh, I'm gonna install it over here on the right just so it's easier to see. You do have your sand spear Velcro straps here, so you can just drop it in here. And I typically go underneath this, this strap right here, just so it's not in the way. That way, too, if you need to make any adjustments, it's not in the way. It can go over right there. And then, as I'm reaching across, same thing here. I'm going to go inside the adjustment strap. This just slides in. It's nice and snug right now. If you're having difficulty sliding that in, drop the, uh, the PSI, you know, just deflate this a little bit, it'll slide right in a lot easier. And then this is just a little keeper right here. So you've got this Velcro, Velcro that in, that just helps secure it in place. And this is now your rudder control. So you can go right or left as you're out in the water. Again, it can go on either side. You have the same uh, option on this side for uh, installing it. You're ready to go out in the water.